Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com and this is Jason Henderson from Burton Snowboards and we're going to walk you through the differences between the deep thinker and the free thinker. Jason, welcome back. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? It's so good. Uh, we are at the Burton Minneapolis store. Uh, Jason is walking us through the 2020 lineup and we're two, we're at the point where two boards kind of meet together. Yep. The deep thinker and the free thinker, uh, boards behind kind of Danny Davis. Yep. What are the similarities, what are the differences, and why should one person get one over the other? Uh, well, just a couple different models for, di you know, two different types of riding. Right. So, I mean, Danny does ride them both, mm. you know, but... Um, At the same time? Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's so good. It's like skis, you know, <laughs> yeah. one foot on one. Yeah. Um, but, you know, one, one is a true twin, but mm. it, you know, definitely it's a little bit more of a powerful true twin. Like, it's sure. full camber, stiff. That's uh, this one. Yeah, good deep side cut to it. So this thing, you know, kills it in the park jumps, pipe, you know, mm -hmm. hauling ass on groomers, but it is a it is a true twin too. Right. So um, if that's what you're looking for, something to go big on, you know, you land you know, you are riding switch and um, you know, that that's kind of the, the one you'd want to go with. If you're looking for more of something more all mountain, you know, kind of freestyle free ride, uh, that's where the deep finger comes in. Got so it. um Personally, one of my favorite boards. That board is super fun to ride. But here you go to a little bit of taper. Okay. So again, boards with taper, they just initiate turns a lot easier. Nose is wider. Nose is a little wider, so it's going to plane out in deeper snow better. Um, right. You know, stance is set back a little bit. Mm -hmm. So the board, you know, definitely um, works better in more free ride, you know, or just uh, all around, you know, all mountain conditions. Got it. Now, like. The construction types are, are pretty much the same. You know, the same wood core, fiberglass, carbon, yep. right? Same build materials, yep, same Same guts. build materials. Yep. Just two different molds. Right, but the molds are the overall style shaping, the stance positioning, and then uh, the bend or the profile shape. This has a directional camber. This one has a full camber and a lot, a lot of full camber. Yeah, it's, it's you know, like I said, it is a, even the thickness of the core is, you know, what really kind of makes boards work really well too. Right. Um, you know, the thickness of this, the core is a little thicker, so it, you know, Got that, it. that translates into a lot of power. Cool, cool. So. Now, what would you say, uh, if you could pinpoint one rider that would ride well on the on the free thinker, who would that be? Well, just about, I mean, anybody that wants a very versatile twin tip. Okay. Um, but somebody that's been riding, you know, a mm. long time. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, guys right. that you know, maybe used to like the on boards or guys that like to go big in the park. Right. Um, they like boards that turn really, turn really well because they got a little deeper side cut. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so they just they like that symmetrical. Got it. You know. Right. Within the Burton lineup, um, what's another board that's similar as a true twin um, to this Freethinker? So I'd say kind of like a, I would say maybe a half step down would be the Paramount. Half step down. Cool. Yeah. So so when you go down to the Paramount, um, you lose a little bit of the carbon, right. and it's not quite as stiff. Right. Uh, it's a little bit more of a mid-wide board, but it's cool. still a full, you know, true twin right. camber board. Right. And this comes in wide sizes too. Yep. Right. Yep. And then how about the Deep Thinker? Like within the Burton lineup, uh, what else is a similar board that kind of falls below or maybe above? Uh, kind of in that range, but I'd say maybe like a flight attendant. Okay. Uh, yep. Would be you know kind of that customer. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe not quite as stiff through the middle of the board as like a flight attendant. Right. But, um, you know, real similar rider, you know, right. all mountain, you mm -hmm. know, directional. Mm -hmm. You know, and these graphics, yeah. let's just talk about these graphics. Keith Herring, uh, yeah, this is nice. How did the, this come together? Well, just the, you know, the Keith Herring Foundation, um, you know, just kind of working with them on the, um, you know, on uh, Keith Herring's art. You know, he was a, an artist on the, um, He's uh, very, you know, prevalent in the, you know, the gay community and things like that. So, right. you know, gay rights, he fought for that, you know, mm. early on. And, right. Um, so, it's just, uh, you know, using some of his art on boards. Yep. It looks good. Turned out really good. Well, those are, those are two standout decks, the Deep Thinker and the Free Thinker. If you could, you know, if, if someone needed to pick out two boards, one for more big park stuff and one for more kind of big mountain stuff, you could, you could get both of these and have a really good time. That's, you have a... An excellent quiver. Yep, an excellent, excellent quiver, quiver of two. Yes. That's awesome. Well, uh, Jason, thanks again for being here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a comment or question. Let us know what you think of the deep or free thinkers from Danny Davis and the Keith Herring collab. Um, subscribe to our channel over there. Check out more vids there. And hopefully we'll see you guys on snow. Peace.